What's up, guys? How you doing? Let's do another pick a card. And today is gonna be quite a saying about you that could be triggering. And uh, let's take cool, okay? Two pounds, we develop a uh, hidden truth, so we call angel candle, shabang. Let's go. Okay, so one, two, one, two. Pile number one was a saying about you. Eight of a sword, knight of wands, and the year of hands. So they could have said that uh, you both need to grow up, you both need to learn. Um, they will say that maybe uh, mentally, emotionally, uh, you were very um, negative about yourself maybe, or they were saying like that, well, this person is too good for me, I'm not good enough. So it could be either of you or actually both of you. At the end of the day, they will say that you will be, you could be quite impulsive at times, make a decision just out of the blue, and that for them was a bit difficult to learn how to be between those two. One is being a bit down and the other one a little bit uh, hyper. So maybe they could say that about you. Um, I think it could be as well uh, for them, for themselves, because you both need to learn. You both have students uh, from life and you have to learn. So they can say all kind of things about you. Are they saying what they actually doing themselves, or accusing you of being like that? As a bit classical, isn't it? Yeah, it's just uh, it's something we hear many, many times. At the end of the day, you meant to be connecting, you meant to learn. Maybe it can be a process. Are you both a student of the universe, uh, the priest, the teacher, the, the therapist, whatever. You both have on a journey to actually better yourself. They could be accusing you of what they're actually doing themselves, but of course, they don't take responsibility for it. So eventually they will because this is really the year of fun is a law um the law of the universe whatever you want to call it um you meant to end up together regardless okay so what they're saying about you is that oh you're either there or i mean you know there and you're difficult to manage well maybe they are the same and maybe they should learn how to manage themselves before criticizing you right mm -hmm. Anyhow, let's have the hidden truth circle because this is quite clear. Anyway, so what do we have? I regret lying to you, bingo. Mm -hmm. So they could accuse you of a lot of things because they know they've done something wrong. They probably um, maybe um, bad mouthing you around the, the people or people you know, trying to give you a reputation. Of course, that is so basic. I mean, it's so petite minded really petite minded but they're the one who did something wrong so for me that's what i thought they're the one accusing you of being whatever but they're the one who got it wrong and that could be as well the judge the universe being the judge of the situation the universe will show the truth to those people and they will be the one like oopsie yes exactly i, I may, may have lied to you as well really <sighs> Come on. So what they're saying about you is not great, but it's going to backfire on them, I have a feeling, okay? And then it's up to you what you're going to do with it, okay? So what do we have? Fear. Mm. I, Archangel Michael, am here to help you through the present time. I love you, I protect you, and I keep you safe. Trust that all is well. Accept my love and allow it to dissolve your fear. Yes. I think they're the one who are more fearful than you, to be fair. Because if they've been lying, their conscience are not very is not very clear. So they have maybe to think, well, maybe the universe is going to punish me or something. The universe doesn't punish anybody. But the, the people who lie have something on their conscience. And inevitably, that will catch up with them. Some people call it karma. I just leave it. You know, personally, I'm like, whatever, you know. Uh, I know my truth. And that's the more important thing. The rest, whatever. And people who want to listen to them... When they backmouthing you says a lot about those people too. Boom, bada boom, right? Okay, so part number two, what they're saying about you. Ace of one, the Empress, and the Six of Wands. Wow, okay. So they definitely see you as an Empress for Queen, doesn't matter, male, female. Uh, someone very together, very tranquil, very content. You survive a ten of sword. Now you know exactly what you want, what you don't want, with an S of sword. But also you went through a ten of wands, and now you have an S of one. You put yourself first. Yeah, you respect yourself very much, and that is uh, sounds a bit normal, but it's not that normal. A lot of people forget themselves and merge through other people. 
we have a tendency sometimes to do that and that can become a codependency of course so what they're saying about you that you're very together and you put yourself first and you know what you're doing also you may have worked out a lot of things and left some people behind you learn how to be yourself and move forward and maybe you're inspiring them to do the same maybe they have to leave someone behind to refocus on themselves to redefine who they are because you know who you are so they should be the same you should do the same and then move toward you and declare your love absolutely i mean it's very important for that person to really catch up with you because you seems to already be there and they need to be the emperor murphy man doesn't matter moving toward you so you don't you're not going to do anything you're not going to try anything and that's what they say about you oh no that person oh my god i don't know i'm the person waiting for me to do this or that no news i don't know what's going on focus on themselves i don't know well yes they know they have to do the work and then they can catch up with you that's it okay so <laughs> boom straight okay um straight to your face okay so let's have a you know just a record i wonder if you're happy without me of course mm, yeah because you are content i mean <laughs> You're definitely in a good place. You don't need anything particularly. You're not begging for anything. You're not gagging for anything. You're at peace. And they're the one who's like, oh, don't forget me. Hello, I'm here. Yeah, well, yeah, but maybe they have to give you a reason for you to wait for them as well. Everything is falling down. Never mind. Yeah, maybe you're not that bothered because, well, I've done my work, so whatever, you know. Okay, what do we have here? Achievement. Brilliant. Take a little time to reflect on what you have achieved to date. It is often easy to forget where you started from and how far you've come. Mm -hmm. Honor and be grateful for this extraordinary journey that is your life. Absolutely. And you know it because you're really appreciating what you've been through. It wasn't easy and you survived. You went through 10 of swords, 10 of wands. Whoa, okay, you went on the floor. Yeah, you were done. Mm. And you had to rebuild yourself. So remember your achievement. Because also, if you manage to do this, they have no excuse for not doing it. If you can do it, they can do it too. And you do not want some kind of page of wands or seven of sword energy. You just want, okay, bring it on. You want at least a king of pentacle or you want an emperor. Boom, bada, boom. Or even a page of pentacle. Yeah, willing to learn new ways, uh, healthy ways. Absolutely. But show me something, otherwise, mm -mm, arrivederci. On this note, have a beautiful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Ciao.